time. So hi everyone and welcome to Odie's Pop-Up Kitchen. I hope you're all doing well. All the first responders, healthcare workers, um, bus drivers, you know, um, delivery men, UPS people, Amazon, all of you out there putting yourselves out in the front line. We just want to say hello to you and wish you all the best. Stay safe. All right, so July 4th weekend, normally we have big family functions. We understand that that's not really gonna happen, but doesn't mean that we can't do it in our home and be happy and grateful for what we have. So we're gonna be doing some mac and cheese today. We're gonna make a sauce for the mac and cheese, really quick, really simple. For the sauce, we just need a little flour, some cheese, some butter, and some milk. Now you can use whole milk, 1% fat-free, Vanilla, whatever works for you. Let's get going. All right, so now my potatoes for my potato salad is resting. We're peeling it off. We're also gonna do some mac and cheese. Now, I have this pot of water. I'm gonna put some light in it so you can see. All right. All I did was add salt to it. That's it. I didn't put any, um, oil in it because I don't want, it's not um, spaghettis, we're making pasta, we're making mac and cheese and we want the noodles, the elbows to stick together. So you could be using the shells or the elbows, it doesn't matter. For me, now for you, you can go ahead and add it if that's what you like. But I find that not putting the oil in the water helps. So this is two pounds of elbows. We're gonna add this to it. And we're not gonna cover it. We're gonna mix it up once we put it in there. But you don't wanna cover this because anything with starch, dumpling, flour, whatever, it will boil over on your stove. And then you have big problems. So we're just gonna stir it. And we're gonna leave it open to boil. Once it's ready, we're gonna take it off. We're also, we're also going to make a sauce for this and I'm going to need milk, butter, flour, and cheese for the sauce. Now I've heard that people put eggs in theirs. I don't know that recipe. So it's milk, butter, cheese, and a little flour. I'm going to get that together. Here, just got a little bit of water in there. We're going to drain that. So we're going to start on our sauce. I have a stick of butter. I'm just gonna drop this in here. This is sweet butter. I like sweet butter. You can use salted butter. You can use anything you got. When that melts, we're gonna add some flour to it. And it's browning, so I'm gonna take it off because I don't want my butter to burn. And that can happen. So all you need to do, see what I did? Just take the butter, take the pan off the heat for a little bit and it's still gonna melt. Awesome. I'm gonna turn it on really low. You gotta do this on a low heat. Now we're going to add some flour to this. Get it all out. I'm making a mess, but that's okay, we'll clean it up. This is about two tablespoons, as you can see, it's a whole lot of flour. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna use our whisk. We're making the sauce. We don't wanna burn the flour. We don't wanna burn the butter. So I just ease it off. And the reason for this is my oven is going, so my stove is overly hot. That's why, if my oven wasn't going, we would be fine, but my oven is going. And it's going real good, I got some pork in there and some pudding. We're having a little 4th of July feast. All right. So I want this to get thick. I'm going to add some more flour to it. Just a little. All right. I'm going to add some milk. You can use whatever milk you like. If you want to use whole milk, 1%, please do that. We're gonna let this come together. You gotta keep stirring it. 
because you don't want to have it lumpy. So I use about two tablespoons one of um, flour, one stick of butter. Now, if you notice, it's coming together. You see how creamy it looks? Look at that. Yeah! Honey, that's what I want. I'm going to add some more milk to it. We're going to keep whisking. Yes. All right. Because we want it to be like melted cheese. And we're going to add cheese to this. Now I have some sliced cheese. You don't have to use sliced cheese. I just have these and I need to get rid of it. So I'm going to use this. I also have some shredded cheese. I'm going to add it to it as well. And all we're going to do is just break them apart. I could have sliced them, but I'm lazy trying to do this quick so we're gonna let this sit in the pot and melt away once that happens we are good and ready so we just use butter we didn't add any salt because the cheese has salt in it we're just gonna let this melt away I'm gonna add some more milk to it yeah that's enough and then we're gonna put the pasta and the shredded cheese and everything together and you'll see how I layer mine to make it really cheesy. There we go. See, it's melting. See that? The cheese is melting. The heat is bringing it all together. All right, so I also added some shredded cheese to it, as you can see. And we're just mixing it in beautiful it's the right color look at that look at that i'm gonna add some more milk we're done once this comes together we're finished i'm gonna drain my elbows it's so beautiful oh my gosh look at that look at that look at that all right i'm gonna stop playing around all right this is right this is done Okay. So, this is a big pot, and it's very heavy. So what I've decided to do is to take my strainer. I'm not going to burn the counter. It's fine. I've also added some butter into that already. We're just going to mix it all in, and I'll put a little bit more butter in it. Like I said, I had some butter in there already. Now, this is my sauce. I'm going to add some of this in there. We're just going to mix it all in. We have some, we have some shredded cheese. And I use any cheese. I like the Mexican mix, but whatever goes for you. You can use multiple types of cheese. Nothing's wrong with that. We're just going to mix this in. We want to make sure that it all comes together. Doesn't that look good? Like if you're a mac and cheese fan, this is just ooh, so good, so so good. Get it all in. Okay. So for my second pan, what I like to do, I like to put some cheese on the bottom of my pan also. So you don't just have the crust, you have cheese at the top. And then we're gonna put this in there. All right, we're gonna spread it all out evenly. And then we're gonna repeat the step. Looks yummy. All right. Drain it. Get the excess water off of it and we add that in there and if it was a smaller container yeah i would have like drained it in my sink but like i'm telling you i'm lazy i i have made jerk pork today jerk chicken we're making some turkey burgers some bacon and all of that so i'm trying to do this express but good more butter You don't have to add more butter if you don't want to, but I do like it. 
And I'm gonna add the mixture. And we're gonna mix it all up. And let's not forget our shredded cheese. Let's get in there. Okay. We're gonna make sure we get it all in. It's warm, so it's going to melt. Oh, I made a spill. Oh, not good. Don't do that, Odie. All right. Now, before we add it in here, what I like to do, and I'm never good at opening any bags, so bear with me. All right. I like to layer my mac and cheese in between my, 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 my um, elbows. So now we're going to add the remainder of this. Run it all out. And then now, I'm going to add just a little bit more of my mixture on top. Okay. All right. Just use up every bit of it. And lastly, we are going to finish this off with the rest of the shredded cheese. Now, when I go to the grocery store, what I do with my stuff, when we bought like canned stuff or these things, we wash them in salt water to sanitize them. So the bags are clean. Um, if I buy milk, the bottle is washed in salt water. My ground provision, either salt water or vinegar. I make sure that I do that. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? We can't wait to participate of this cheesy goodness. All right, so we're gonna drop it in the oven. I'm gonna put it at 350. When it's all brown, you're gonna know it's good and ready when the cheese turns a little brown color. A little ooey gooeyness, all right? this gorgeous isn't it beautiful oh my god wait 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 i gotta i gotta taste it I, it's hot though but i want you to see what it looks like i want you to see what it looks like so let, me get my fork. let me cut into it i don't like to do that before my guest comes but we're gonna do that anyways It needs to sit a little bit so the cheese can come together. But look at look at the the ooey gooeyness of this. It will be harder once it sits, but because it's hot right now. But look at that. <sighs> so good. It smells so good. Mm. Mm. So good. It's hot. But it's good. This is my mac and cheese. Try it, guys. Thank you for joining Odie's Pop Up Kitchen. It's been a pleasure. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for subscribing, for liking, and sharing. I appreciate the comments. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Go ahead and try this with your family. See you soon.